Good morning, guys. Today, I am super, super, super excited. I'm currently waiting on my Uber to get to my doctor's appointment so I can meet my baby. Not in person yet, but FaceTime, right? Although, they can't see me. I'm getting an ultrasound. And there's a possibility that I could figure out the gender today. Um, the doctor said that usually 18 to 22 weeks, which I'm not quite there yet, but some people can find out early. I've heard of people finding out as early as 12 weeks, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> this is super, super exciting. I've been waiting so long for this. Like, I've been being so patient. Well, not really, but you know, I've been waiting so long for this. <laughs> My, You're cute. I get to meet my future soulmate. <laughs> You're cute. So I just got back from my appointment a little bit ago, and I also just got done filming the gender reveal video. <gasps> it's a foot, guys! That's the gender. It's a foot. It personally identifies as a foot. <laughs> uh, but, um, here, where can you see the face best? This one, I think. You can see the... Big whips. There's this picture. I don't know. I, I think I'm having twins, guys. One of them's a human and one of them's a fucking fish. What is that? <laughs> you can see the arm right there. It looks like uh, they're about to suck their thumb. But the baby is healthy. They're face down, which is good. How I felt whenever I saw it, I was, I was just looking at Gary for a while because I was afraid to look over. But whenever I looked over, I was just like, shit, what am I doing? This thing is really in me. Like, wh what am I doing? Like, what is going on? This is crazy, ah. Uh. And then it turned into feelings of like joy and happiness and like, like pure ecstatic excitement that like, I couldn't even form, like, I think in the video I didn't even say anything because I couldn't even form words. Like, I was just, like, completely in awe looking at the screen. I was like, wow, this is really, this is really happening. Like, first of all, it was just like, this is really happening. And then it turned into, this is really happening. Um, and, yeah, it was just like, holy shit. <laughs> Whenever I saw its like face and everything and its arm <laughs> and like I know I've seen it on like I've seen other ultrasounds before but it's just like when it's in me it's like it's just like taking a moment it took a minute to process in my brain that like, what's on the screen is in me insane it's it's absolutely <sighs> insane and I'm really happy <laughs> Babe. Yeah. What was like your reaction? Like how did what were you feeling whenever you first saw the screen? Um I'm very confused at first because I didn't know what I was looking at because I couldn't see the, the shape of the baby at the first, but when I saw the baby, I had no words to explain what like it was just built up excitement. I wanted to just start like celebrating in the room, but 
I didn't want to um, make the doctor feel uncomfortable. Oh, who but, cares? I'm sure. I'm sure there's been they deal with all kinds of different reactions. Plus, yeah. I, I I already she already dealt with me having anxiety first. I almost cried. I was tearing up a little bit. Yeah, it was definitely emotional. Yeah, it looked like a blob for a little bit, but then I think the first thing that I made out was the arm and the little hands, and that's when I was like, shit. <laughs> that's actually inside me. Yeah. <laughs> so lot to comprehend. Yeah, it really is. It's fucking insane. <laughs> Miracle. I love you. I love you too. Mwah. Mwah. Okay, so I just ordered the first item. I'm so excited to go shopping for my baby. This is the first item that I ordered. One of my favorite bands is selling a onesie as their merch. Awesome. Do you guys know any other emo punk or punk or alternative bands that are selling onesies as merch because they're the first one that I've seen but I'd love to get more just have my kid all decked out in emo shit here's the thing so I placed the order online and I selected instant pay with apple pay which I do sometimes for like doordash and shit but I guess I never did it for actually ordering something because I didn't realize that it's hooked up to my mom's address and not mine. I was about to email them and be like, hey, this is the wrong address. Can you send it to this address instead? I had the email all typed out, but then I, I didn't send it. I canceled it because I was like, you know what? This might save my ass from, from having to tell my mom in person because I don't want to tell her in person. I, I really don't. I know she'll be supportive. I don't know about my dad, but I don't really care. I know she'll be supportive, but I just don't want to do it. It's just awkward. I was gonna send her like a card or something in the mail and say it, but you know, this works out perfect. She'll get it in the mail. She, I, told, I told her she should open it before she gives it to me. She doesn't know what it is. I'm pretty sure she already knows I'm pregnant though. Just that mother's sixth sense, you know, I'm pretty sure she already knows. So it's not gonna be a huge shock to her, but yeah, she'll get it in the mail. She'll open it and then she'll know, and I don't have to be there. So it's actually perfect <laughs> the way it worked out. <laughs> but yeah, right now we are just relaxing for a little bit and in a little bit, we are going to go to the mall. The main reason we're actually going to the mall though is because we want to see the quiet place too. Been wanting to see this for forever and we waited. <laughs> it's not an HBO Max, unfortunately. So we waited till we came down here to go to a movie theater because the theaters here have recliner chairs and the ones, well, the, the one where I live has recliner chairs now, but they're only the chairs like in the very front that's like flat on the floor. And you know, you choose between like having comfort in your back or having comfort in your neck. Cause my back will be comfy, but my neck will be like this the whole time. And I just can't do that at a movie. <laughs> It's, it's too close to the screen, too. <laughs> like, my eyes can't take all that in at <laughs> once. I'm gonna look around. In the theater, oh, every single chair is a recliner. This right? is something we don't have back home. Down. They don't recline that far, though. Right? Yeah, it kind of sucks. You can't put the feet, your feet the whole way up. I guess they don't want you falling asleep. <laughs> I wonder how often that happens. Like, they just have to come through and wake people up. I just got back from the mall and cinema. And Quiet Place Part 2, amazing. Totally recommend it. There's not really a slow or dull moment in the entire film. You'll pretty much be at the edge of your seat the whole time. I mean, well, figuratively, I wasn't because I was in a nice ass recliner, but you'll be glued to it the whole time. I was so mad because I had to go pee in the middle of it, which I, is the first time I think maybe ever I've had to pee during a, a movie because for some reason, like, whenever I go out, my body just goes into no pee mode. <laughs> and uh, then whenever I come back, usually my body connects, you know, to the, to the home Wi-Fi and has to pee. <laughs> it's been like that for so long. Like I hardly ever have to pee whenever I go out unless I'm out for like all day. But in the past week, I've finally started to have to pee more, which 
is crazy because I haven't really noticed any difference until the past week. And usually it's supposed to start like right away, right? I literally ran to the bathroom and ran back because it is, I didn't want to miss any of it, <laughs> but it was getting painful. John Krasinski, never stop making movies, please. Never. He's an amazing actor, an amazing director. Just, there's gotta be a third one. I feel like the way it ended, there's definitely gonna be a third one and I'm definitely gonna see it. Anal, it was amazing. Yes. <laughs> Journeys, well, you guys already saw, but we got new Converse. And then I got a nice pack of comfy black um, ankle socks. I almost called them anal socks. I'm always buying more socks because uh, I'm always losing them somehow and I don't know how. They're just always getting gone. It's the sock ones, I swear. I finally got my wish and went to Earthbound, my favorite store. I got this lovely punk ass decor. Love it. And it lights up. How cool is that? It kind of reminds me of um, the bloating sign on uh, Life is Strange 2 which I also think is on Chloe's shirt. Also, because honestly, I think Trinity would be just as obsessed with Earthbound as I am. Kind of sucks that they don't have them in Pennsylvania, but she loves crystals and she also loves the color black. So Here, I got, let me flash my lid on that. Yeah, make it, make it shiny, make it sparkle. Yeah. Look at that. Tourmaline is what it's, uh, is what it's called. Yeah. And that's it. Didn't get too much. Face mask with babe. Can't even really see them. It looks like we just got facials. Yeah, no, I don't like that. <laughs> we were just laying there and somebody just busted a nut on both of our faces at once. <laughs> Look at all these celebrities. You probably didn't know we're vegan. Isn't that awesome? You even have the main man himself, Albert Einstein. <laughs> I didn't know that. Ariana Grande. Yeah, I knew that. Justin Timberlake, Ben Stiller, Snoop Dogg. Yeah, Woody Harrelson. I knew that. Usher, Will I Am, Liam Hemsworth. I knew that too. Um, Brad Pitt, Mike Tyson, Kristen Bell, Ryan Gosling. Ruby Rose. Oh, this place is so cute! I love this place already. It's called Oh My Soul. It's a vegan soul food place and it's so freaking cute. They have an outdoor bar and everything. The server said that she loved my Zelda tattoo. <laughs> it's not Zelda. Is that what everyone thinks when they see it? Do they think it's Zelda? I've never even played Zelda. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> but I appreciate the compliment. <laughs> He said yes. No. See, see, look. He said yes. He won't mind. <laughs> I do mind. Come on, just a little sip. No. I'm over 21. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you have a baby in your belly. Meanie. You trying to kill our kid? One sip no, won't it hurt. Doesn't. Yes, it can. Can I at least suck on the orange? No. Can I lick the aloe or whatever that is? No. You're mean. I don't care. No. Ooh, look at this. Chicken bacon ranch. Actually, I didn't order. I think that one's mine. We don't trade fries. <laughs> I got sweet potato fries. 
and they have got is that an impossible burger? Yeah. Impossible and burger. And then the invisible person got another chicken bacon ranch. It's mine. They, well, they put it over there because they thought it was going to be for another person. You're fat. I personally like this wrap. Um, I will say that the chicken does not taste like chicken, but I think it's still good. Uh, it's not meat eater approved, though, apparently. Right, babe? But this? This is great. Yeah, I tried a bite of that, too. That's amazing. Of course, it's an impossible burger, which you can't really go wrong with, but they make it their own. They have their own seasonings and everything, of course. Are you okay? Oh, you're cold sore. And how's their fries? Hey, you forgot to mention it. Um, fries are amazing. The barbecue sauce is gonna be tangy. Have you tried it? Yeah, you tried it already. Yeah, it's good. Have you tried it with the regular fry yet, though? Um, right. no. Let me. Here. Mm. Yeah, I got their sweet potato fries, which is really good too. I'm not a big fan of sweet potato fries. It's hopscotch. It's illegal to walk normally over hot scotch. Over hot scotch. You have to. You have to. Illegal. I'm gonna arrest you. I'm gonna have to arrest you now, sir. Sir. Stop that. <laughs> okay, guys. It's two in the fucking morning. And... <laughs> I'm glad I'm leaving here tomorrow. The people in the apartment below us just knocked on their ceiling and my floor. And I was standing on the floor. And need I mention again, it's 2 a.m. I was standing on the floor in the living room and I felt the floor vibrate from the knock. It didn't sound like it was coming from the door. It sounded like it was coming from under me, but I checked the door just in case and no one was there. Doors locked. Fucking weirdos! It's two the fuck a.m. Why are you knocking on your ceiling? What do you want from me? You want some some fucking weed or something? I don't have any. <laughs> it was like I was standing like right here on the living room floor. <laughs> this is why. This is why I refuse to stay in an apartment. This is why I'm getting a house. This is why I'm renting a house and not an apartment. Fucking glad I'm leaving here tomorrow. And if you think I'm being loud and that's maybe why, I'm literally not being loud at all. I'm talking, but you can't hear people talking because I haven't heard that from any of the apartments around. Actually, I've barely heard any noises at all. The walls are pretty thick. I don't know. It's so fucking weird. I got that on camera. Thank you guys for coming along with me on this nice little trip. Um, I might vlog whenever we actually start the move too. I don't know if I tell if I told the vlog yet, but we did get accepted for that house. Definitely have to show you guys that when we go back down. We're just gonna spend a couple more weeks here until the fourth of July, and then we're leaving. But yeah, I'm fucking tired. So with that, I will bid you farewell for now. I'm gonna go lay down. Bye bye.